You know that tiny microorganisms are present in the atmosphere and are invisible to the naked eye. But how do the scientists actually study these microbes? They use an instrument called the compound microscope. Let us have a look at the parts of a microscope. Here is a microscope. We will start from the bottom. At the base, you will find a concave mirror which reflects light from a light source like sun to the stage. Modern microscopes have their own light source at the bottom. In that case, this mirror is replaced by the light source. The mirror is followed by a diaphragm. This is used to control the amount of light that reaches the stage. This is the stage. This is where we keep the specimen, the magnified image of which is to be studied. The specimen is usually mounted on a glass or quartz slide which allows light to pass through and fall on the object. The light that comes from the slide is collected by the objective. The objective is made up of multiple convex lenses. A typical microscope has three sets of objectives which will form images magnified 10 times, 45 times and 100 times. The objective is followed by a body tube where a true image of the specimen is formed. The body tube ends with an eyepiece. On the arm of the microscope, there are two knobs, a coarse adjustment knob and a fine adjustment knob. These are adjusted to bring the image in focus. The eyepiece typically magnifies the image formed by the objective up to 10 times. So a compound microscope has multiple lenses that magnify a sample up to 1000 times. The 10x eyepiece in combination with the objectives of 10x, 45x and 100x gives a total magnification of 100x, 450x and 1000x depending on the objective chosen. Remember, the specimen to be seen has to be carefully made depending on what we want to study. Often we need to stain a specimen to make the cells visible. 